Oh, gentleman from Ohio for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you for uh, holding this hearing. I appreciate all the witnesses. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Deutsch a question about um, uh, Ford. And um, if you remember last year, Ford had to cancel an offering. You talked about the whole bond market closing down, but clearly uh, there was a you know, front page of the B section of the Wall Street Journal about Ford having to cancel. I think it was a $100 million asset-backed uh, bond because of the very provision we're talking about, the Section 939G in the Dodd-Frank Act. Can you just uh, explain to the committee quickly what happened there? Yeah, I think uh, Ford, and, and again, don't know all the extreme particulars of the Ford transaction. There were actually a number of transactions in the market uh, or coming to the market at that point. Uh, I believe Ford had a transaction. I think it was m closer to a billion dollars that they were looking to uh, sell off into the secondary market of uh, loans backed by prime uh, quality uh, auto uh, trend collateral. And, and what's the effect of them not being able to finance that $100 million? Ultimately, they can't sell cars. Or employ people, right? Uh, or which, obviously, you, s you stop uh, employing people to make those cars. Right. Um, so, you know, the change in the law was effective immediately. The SEC did step in and have a no-action letter that kept the law from being enforced, and that's where we are today, and that's why some things are allowed to sort of go forward at this point. But um, I guess the SEC is maybe talking, according to Mr. Silver, uh, and some other reports I've seen about removing rating agency uh, references altogether. That's another direction to go. Frankly, that would solve this problem too, but um, the result is two things. Uh, it's more cost in the marketplace because it, um, if the liability is passed on through the increased cost at the rating agencies, it will cost issuers more and therefore affect jobs. But the second piece is less information will be available in the marketplace, readily available in the marketplace. Are, are those good or bad things? Uh, gen generally, it's a very bad thing. I mean, if, if, although the SEC could change their rules to no longer require that a rating has to be included in a statutory prospectus, you would still have ratings being conveyed to investors, right. but they're conveyed in these ancillary documents. Why wouldn't you want to convey the information in your primary but offering? They would document? be less readily available as a way Correct. to say that. I mean, there's, the information may still be available, but it results in less information in the marketplace. Correct. Um, and so that's why I prefer this approach as opposed to that approach. Um, uh, you know, th you could just remove the rating requirement from the prospectus, which is the other way to go, but it makes information less readily available. Uh, I do have a question for Mr. Silver uh, really quickly because I want to talk about more information and less information in the marketplace. Can you quickly tell me how people know what an investment grade bond is? If, you, if you're asking whether I think that having ratings in the, in the bond market is a good idea or not, I think that's a complicated question. I think if I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you how people would describe an investment grade bond. How, if you were going to just tell somebody what an investment grade bond is, what would you refer to? You know what the well, answer. An is. investment grade bond is a term of art, and it derives from a credit rating. Thank you. That's um, and that's the point. Uh, credit ratings are um, an important part of the information in the marketplace. I, I think you misconstrue my yeah. testimony. I don't disagree with you. Okay. Well. Um, you, essentially, what I'm telling you is if you remove the ratings from the prospectus, which is the direction you want to go, you're going to have information less readily available in the marketplace. Actually, it's just a fact. You, you, um, no, but you misunderstand the direction okay. I want to go. Okay. Go, I'll let you go a little bit here. Right. I don't no, have no, much I think, time. I, mean, I think you've touched on a very important issue in terms of financial reform. Um, and by the way, I, it's not that I want to do nothing about the rating agency. No, I know. And I, and There's I think, work to be done. I think it may very well be that you and I completely agree about this. Okay. Uh, now, it, it's not the, a matter Not from reading or hear, listening to your testimony, by right. the way. Well, it's not a matter on which um, I can say that it's, you, you put me in an awkward position in a sense because there are differences of opinion in the people that I represent on this question. I noticed the United Auto Workers not on your list, by the well, way. That's not You're going to have a hard time getting them if, on this one. Well, that was not what yeah. I was referring to. Okay, yes. Right. What I was referring to is, and I'll give you an example. Yes. Uh, credit ratings uh, have been used to screen out investment grade commercial paper from money markets. Yeah. Uh, many people feel that that is a critical function 
to avoid uh, a, a, a huge moral hazard problem in, in, in the money market area. And I, 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 can I come back to this? Because I have one more question for yes. Mr. Deutsch, because it is an important, something happened in the marketplace last week, and I want to ask him about it. Uh, Redwood Capital um, made a disclosure, not required disclosure, about um, rating shopping. Uh, would disclosures on rating shopping help fix a lot of the problems that occurred in the marketplace. I know I'm out of time. I, I think they'll let you answer. Any answer, Mr. Chairman? I, I think certainly additional disclosures around rating shoppings. I think there are many investors who would like to see additional disclosure around that. Many investors would find that helpful to understand the different ratings, the uh, agencies that issuers have approached. Uh, and so I think there would be some uh, that would be well received by the investor community. Thank you. Gentlelady from New York.